All right, this is a video on some uh, fiber ethernet uh, media converters. There are these little boxes here. You uh, plug in fiber here, and on the other end, you have another one of these. You plug in the other end of the fiber, and it converts it back to ethernet. Um, you'd want to use these, like if you had two houses, um, you wanted to connect together with internet, You'd stick this at one house and the other one at the other house, and instead of running Cat5 in between, you run fiber. That way, if lightning strikes, glass doesn't, you know, carry electricity or carry current, so it won't fry your devices on either end. Because if you run an Ethernet cable, um, you know, whether it's lightning protected or not, it could potentially fry your devices at either end. Or, you know, if you just got like a big warehouse you, and you wanted to connect two points. Uh, this one, I believe, is a gigabit um, media converter. Um, but some of the ones are on like 10, 100. So you gotta watch that if you're getting one of these. I'm not sure what the B means. Um, yeah, it's worked either way for me. The other one has A on it. Um, but we're gonna plug this in here. Um, I gotta, this is the WAN side coming from the wall there, coming from my WAN. Uh, that right there is the power bank that it came with. It has no lights. This looks like a little cheap Chinesium power bank. And we'll plug this end in here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. And there's little dip switches back there, but I don't think they do anything. So we're gonna plug this in here. If I can get my stupid hand to cooperate. And then, oops, the light side up. A uh, thousand meg. All right. So we'll plug in the fiber, remove the little protective cap here on the end. And this is single mode fiber. Um, it only has one fiber in this end of that. So we will try to plug this in here. Without, sorry about the shaky camera. Doing this stuff one handed sucks. Come on, as I'm pushing it back. There we go. All right, so that end is clicked in. And on the other end here, I just got it set up here in my garage. Um, I'll show you what the other end looks like here in a minute. Uh, I gotta unwind this and it's a pain in the butt. All right, so going from this first one here with my WAN connection, it's running here on the floor in my garage all the way up to the other one, which has A on it. And right now I got it plugged in. Well, I need to plug it in, but I got a switch here uh, simulating another network. Not another network, but another uh, place where you can run ethernet drops too, because fiber, you can run it further than, you know, Cat6 uh, without, without hardly any loss. So we'll go ahead and take this cap off here. And you got you just line up that little slit with the little slit on the top here. Yeah, sorry. Shaky camera work. All right, get that plugged in. All right, and then I got the connection from this going into the switch. And then I got another ethernet cable here. I'm gonna plug it into my laptop here and we'll test it out. All right, so we'll plug in the little transceiver first. I'm oh, sorry, I hope if I got you in frame. And then we'll plug in the ethernet switch here. That sucks doing this one handed. All right, so looks like we got a network connection, power, those two lights there in the middle and it is a thousand megs because the 100's not lit up, the 1,000 is. And then we got our network switch here. It's saying port one is active. It has a link. And of course, port seven is not active because I haven't plugged it into my laptop yet. So we'll go over here to this other one here. And yeah, you can run this fiber if you're connecting two houses in between. You can run it in conduit underneath the ground. And then over here, you got your two link lights there in the middle, and then a thousand megs. 
And this brand here that I'm using, I just found it on Amazon. It was pretty, it was pretty cheap. And it's, you know, of course, gigabit ethernet standard. And it, you know, I've been getting gigabit speed. So we'll go back here to this other one here and take this cable and we will, if I can get you in frame, plug it into my ethernet port here. All right. And then I got a little computer down here, which means I am not on Wi-Fi, but we'll go ahead and disconnect from the Wi-Fi. And let's see here. Connect it. Well, I don't know why it says Wi-Fi. We get a hardwired connection. All right, private. Blah blah blah. All right, we'll do we'll do this. P-C-O-N-F-I-G. All right, it sees, oh, we got a dot four dot two IP address, default gateway, 192.168.4.1. Uh, and let's we'll see here, media disconnected, wireless LAN adapter, media disconnected. Wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi, media disconnected. So we are not on Wi-Fi, we are on hardwired internet, hence the little computer there in the bottom right. So we will click on Firefox here and see, sorry, I would use OBS Studios and just record this on the laptop, but uh, yeah, this laptop is ancient i'm surprised it's still even running the running windows i just put a ssd in it that's probably the only reason why it's running still all right and we'll go to speedtest.net sorry about the flicker guys no we'll go to fast.com because speedtest.net so your ip address And I'm paying for 300 down here and uh, 30 up. But for some reason, I'm only getting 160 tonight. Uh, it's a stupid cable company. So we will just do a file transfer to my NAS, which is on my network. So we will do this. And see what we get. Yep, we're getting gigabit speeds. 109, 110. So is this my stupid ISP? Which is the cable company, which you can never trust the cable company. They suck. But as you can see, I mean, these little Ethernet or media converters, you know, if you got long enough fiber, you know, single mode fiber is pretty cheap. You know, you just have to run one fiber, you get transmit and receive, and then you put a little switch in another network closet. So run it, instead of running an ethernet cable to connect to uh, network closets, you know, you just run one fiber here. And this stuff, this stuff's pre-made. It's got the pre-made ends on it, but yeah, these things are, uh, will come in handy if you get like a big space or if you get a shed or a house you're trying to run internet to. You, know, you just bury the fiber and you don't have to worry about you know electricity you know running this stuff to the ground and then you have you know a switch here in your other space connected with fiber and then it runs you know to your other I'm sorry about the shaky camera it runs to your other network closet um, but anyways I've rambled on long enough getting gigabit speeds so we'll go ahead and cancel this and uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching